Hello there and welcome to the series of videos looking to go through the content of the first year of Maths A Level. Here we're on expanding brackets so that you can answer questions from exercise 1b. So here we're particularly looking at expanding double brackets and there are lots of different ways in which you can expand double brackets. Here we're currently going through the box method that I've referred to. Um, so what you do is you um, put in all of your uh, brackets on the top and one along the side and you times to get in each of these individual red terms. You then simplify by adding each of these red terms together. Now just a note to, to make is that you can only add um, powers of x that are equal to each other. So we can add this uh, 4x and the 7x here. The 28 can't get involved because that hasn't got um, any other terms in here where it's just a number on its own. And the x squared can't get involved in simplifying here because it hasn't got another x squared to simplify with. So we just get x squared plus 11x plus 28. These methods are particularly good when you've got a trickier one like this one here where it's a negative and a positive and maybe a 2x is involved as well. So just as with before, make sure that each of your terms are going along the top and along the side. Uh, multiply each of your terms to get the values inside the boxes and simplify as you do so as well. Okay, so hopefully you've seen a lot of the two bracket ones before. Let's go through an example where we have three brackets now. So the way we approach this is that we are going to uh, multiply any of the two pairs of brackets first. In this case here we're going to times out the first two brackets and we'll leave the third one hanging on until we've expanded that and then we'll expand the third one afterwards. So expanding this we get 2x squared plus 7x minus 4 and bring back in that x plus 3 term and now we're going to expand everything from the left hand bracket with everything in the right hand bracket. So the first expansion we have to do is 2x squared times x and 2x squared times 3. After that we need to do 7x expanded with x and the 3. And after that, we need to do the minus 4 expanded with the x and the plus 3. Simplify all that you can here. So remember, you're just keeping together all the same powers of x here. So the x squareds can simplify together and all of the x terms can simplify together. So in this case, we're going to simplify our answer to 2x cubed plus 13x squared plus 17x minus 12. OK, here are some questions for you to have a go at then. Pause the video and try them out. Okay, so hopefully you've done that relatively successfully. Let's go through these answers then. So the first one here, we're going to get 2x squared, 3x, uh, minus 2xy, and minus 3y. Now, just looking at the terms here, there's nothing that we can simplify with each other, so we have to leave it just like this. x squared can't simplify with an x, and then with these y's, we've got an x in this one and not in that one. Okay, this one here, this is a classic mistake that people make, and hopefully you haven't made the mistake I'm about to show you. That is 9x squared plus 4y squared. Hopefully you've not got that and you haven't just squared each of these individual terms. Hopefully what you've done is you've set up one bracket being times by that same bracket. Because remember when you square something you're timesing it by itself. So this bracket needs to be times by itself. So expanding what we get, we get 9x squared plus 6xy plus another 6xy, and plus 4y squared. So this thing was nearly right, but we missed out this bit here. So your final answer, simplifying the two middle components here, is going to be 12xy plus our 9x squared plus 4y squared. Okay. Now with this term here, what I'm going to do is effectively the same method as expanding three brackets. I'll ignore the seven, I think, for this one at the start. However, if you've expanded the first two, that's fine as well. So in this case here, I'm going to get uh, 2x squared plus 5x 
minus 4x and minus 10. Simplifying all of this, I get 2x squared plus x minus 10. And then times in through by 7, I get 14x squared plus 7x minus 70. Okay, and the last one here, we went through one of these ones uh, beforehand, so hopefully you got this right. Expand the first two brackets, or if you've done the last two, that's fine as well. So expand in these two, and we get x squared plus 5x plus 6, and times that by x plus 1. So we're going to get x squared times the x plus 1, so it'd be x cubed plus x squared. Uh, 5x times each of those two terms as well, so 5x squared plus 5x. And 6 times each of these both terms, and you get 6x plus 6. Simplifying each of these, keeping the powers with each other, so it's going to be x cubed plus 6x squared plus 11x plus 6. Okay, so pause the video there then and have a go at the rest of the exercise 1b. Make sure you've got lots of practice at this because this is going to reappear and reappear in your maths A-level course.